So a while ago, after a night of drinking and making excuses about why I didn't do YouTube videos anymore, which I now kind of do, um, I made a promise to one of my mates. The promise was that I would make a video promoting gingers. So here it goes. Government approved, scientifically proven reasons why gingers are the greatest. <laughs> and it's true because it's on the internet and everything on the internet is true. <laughs> Number one, gingers are a minority that won't cause a fuss. Are you someone privileged who's sick of hearing about minority inequalities? Then gingers are the perfect minority for you! They're ginger so you can give them shit and feel superior to them, but they're white so it's not like it's racist or anything, nobody's gonna complain! Finally, white people can be dicks to a certain kind of community and not receive consequences! Yay! <laughs> no, but seriously, you shouldn't be a dick to someone over their looks and culture, but if you're gonna be, if you have to be, I guess the gingers are going to cause the least amount of fuss. Look, the reason why gingers are okay with your bullying is because of reason number two. They're hotter than you. It's just a fact. Look, gingers just have something about them that's attractive. Like a unicorn. They're rare, their top kind of shines in the sun. Gingers are the height of beauty and as proof, there was a ginger art show which is my personal favourite and I think anyone who sees it will love it. So I will link it down in the description. You can check that if you don't believe me, but yeah. Gingers are pretty sexy. The most likely people to be sexy. It's 99%. Number three, they don't get sand up their ass. Why? Because we don't go to the beach. Check and mate. <laughs> Number four, everybody wants our hair. Old ladies tell me how much they love my hair and how cute I am. Middle-aged women always make me promise not to dye my hair because everybody wants that color. Little kids say I look like the Little Mermaid or that princess from Brave. Being a redheaded female is great because there are all these fictional and non-fiction role models that you can aim to be like and, and aspire to and be compared to and some of them even fake their red hair so if they can fake it you can you can definitely bring out the awesomeness. And then for guys, you have like two choices. Mm. Look, the main one is number five. Nobody questions if you get a little fiery. It's just in your nature, even if you're usually quiet, nobody's gonna make you stop doing your instincts. You can be a bit of an asshole with minimal consequences. It's fucking great. Oops. Sorry, <laughs> forgive me. I'm feeling a little extra ginger today. <laughs> so there you have it. Being a ginger is a privilege unto itself. Everyone can go ahead and be jealous of gingers and people like my friend, Adrian. So <laughs> everyone is great. You are great, but you may not be ginger great. If after watching this video you've decided that yeah, gingers are actually pretty great and maybe you want to support some gingers, you should buy this album. Look at it, look at it, it's right there. What is that you ask? Well, it's the EP by a little band called Nyanza from Australia who are like 50% ginger. There's four of them, two orangas, one's called Jack, so that's kind of like a ranga name, and the other one, James, is, well like he's white, if you dyed his hair orange he'd be ginger. It's like, it's close enough. It's $10, come on, why not? Support local Australian music. And why am I supporting it? Well, one of the band members is my boyfriend. <laughs> Three guesses who. All right, that is it. I will see you guys next week. Bye.